What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Beauty Builds. Guess what I'm doing? Can y'all see that in the back? Can you see it? Oh yeah, we are headed to Red Oak, Texas to go meet up with Lonnie and Adam, the DF kit car brother, no, father and son. Father and son, basically she's driving now. There's just kind of a couple of little tweaks I wanna work on with them, have them look over. Just, you know, just a health check now that she's driving. Got about 45 minutes on the road before I get there. I love it that I'm so close to them, but I won't bore you with the drive. I'll see you when I get there. We're here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the AT. In case you didn't know, DF Goblin, Doyle's Fabrication. What's up? Can I put you on the camera? Good to see you, man. Yeah, come check it out. I hid it behind the shed for the big reveal. Another one's been born. I need to get a drop hitch so that way my trailer's not angled so bad. What do you think? Looks good. That's what I guess. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Definitely a little tight, but I think it's yeah. fine. I just measured and cut the pipe. It's probably a little bit too long, but it ended up fitting, I think, perfectly. It's like right up against the uh, the inside of the intercooler there. That is correct. That is correct. Sweet. Yeah, and it probably is. Uh, that's one reason I saw you said your math didn't work. Cause yeah. It's blowing so much air out of there that it's, okay. it's confusing the math. That's what I was thinking. Because every time, like if it's running, as soon as I plug this yeah. in, it kills the engine. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's it that goes to right. the um, the boost in. pressure, right? Yeah, I didn't know whether this would clear that. You know, I've never seen, nobody's put a stock one on. Oh, yeah. Something's not right here. Oh, well, we don't put this on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like I that. threw those on there and then I was looking at some photos and those yeah, weren't there, so. I'll probably take that off. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize and say the video quality probably isn't going to be the best, but that's because I'm actually trying to have a conversation and just holding the phone to my chest. I'll let y'all get what you get and uh, don't throw a fit, you know? <laughs> that's when you know you're doing it right, when you rip up the concrete. <laughs> this is one that came off of a motor that I think had a tune. Cause okay. It had, it had an extension cord like what you've got here. Okay. So it kind of... Yeah, that one looks just like this one over here. You wanna try to crank it? Yeah, let's do that and then drop the... Drop that math on there. Let me get the key. I went to put the seatbelts in yesterday and realized that uh, Corbo doesn't send the nuts that go with the bolts. I, I know. It's just unreal. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. All right, Lonnie just figured out why the math, uh, anytime the sensor was plugged in, it was killing it. It's because this, I put this tube on backwards. I figured it had something to do with airflow, but you can't actually flip this around. But I got, I, the hoses are connected to the right spot, right? That looks right. You have a valve cover vent to there. If you don't do that, if you just put a, a cap, a, so a lot of people put a breather there, they just get really nasty, and then also you start smelling the oil up into the... Oh, okay. Up into where you're riding, because this, the air actually transfers this way. It's kind of dead area right here. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that, Sorry. that looks good. I'm surprised all this stuff worked out. It looks great, though. It looks like yeah, it matched up perfectly, man. Like, it's, I mean, it, it looks like you'll cut, cut it for it. Yeah. So, apparently, this is like a factory, just like a, a factory cobalt. Work yeah, right I... Yeah, so this is a 2015 engine, which I think is what's weird about it, right? So it's yeah, probably... Had a number plate on. Yeah, that's like our, that's we had a new crate engine that had that, that plate on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And this thing will run just fine without any water going through here. Oh, okay. It'll just start backing the timing down and losing power. Yeah. It, it, all that computer stuff, it'll say, oh, it's got high temperatures, and it'll just keep backing it down, but it won't blow up your motor or anything. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't connected it yet. I've got the... Since it was so difficult to put all that not difficult but it takes a lot to get the stuff in the tunnel i just went ahead and put the pex tubes in there yeah that's a good idea um and i'll just i'll get the water pump and all that stuff going later yeah the water pump bolts to the block in the front down there okay well, we're building a um, an automatic and a supercharged car right now and doing videos on those nice we're actually doing turbo wire we're doing wiring for all three right now and was your uh wire too short where? For uh, the Coolander? No. No? No, you did an amazing job. Uh, the rear O2 sensor that was on the downpipe, I mean, to Don't clean know. that up, do I just cut it off here? Or, I and then like rewrap the wires there? Or maybe just cut it down All here? All we ever do is just leave them just like that, so I've never messed with it. So oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. I'm gonna go rewrap all those wires to make it look a little better. The plastic clamps that go around the brake hoses? Yeah. Uh, how many did you have when you left your house? Two, oh. I, I get you one. Well, You're yeah. so right. I had two on each side. And, uh, I'm not sure which rivets we sent with your kit. We've changed over to a different style, so I'll supply those two. Okay. They, uh, they're called exploding rivets. Okay. They're better for plastics. Okay. Yeah, there we go. 
Awesome. Okay. So that airflow is what's important. I had that too long down. steel bracket the steel mounts that you're talking about that you, that you said you'd put backwards originally yeah we've had two different people bend those one okay. of them has like three, oh yeah i saw that three twenty fives or something he said he hit a curb while he's going 130 <laughs> bent one of them. but we don't want that stuff bending so we've made yeah. some real thick ones but sure. you'll probably never bend one if you do we sell a, an upgraded one of those okay those windscreens man i i get so excited like you were posting this on instagram just imagining that many goblins out there on the road what is this those are the braces that go across here for the all terrain oh okay we run an extra brace here and we put a thicker uh, aluminum piece here because they got you know they're jumping <laughs> okay i thought it was like a lawn mowing addition <laughs> keep those blades spinning so what happened with the tesla one we sent it back to the guy and he I think Adam said that he just recently asked for uh, registration stuff. Nice. Are you filming here? Yeah, doing all the wiring videos. Stuff. That's awesome. I had a camera up there. This is actually out of the camera shot, so you can't yeah. see this. And uh, that TD is actually hooked to the camera. Very nice. I do rough edits. You do what? I do a rough edit here, and then uh, and then Adam goes and uh, then I sent to Adam because fine I tune of, it, yeah. yeah. And he puts in uh, like he just designed this uh, the information where it does a little thing and then it comes out like this. Yeah, and stuff under it's really neat the way it comes out and it tells what it is and it kind of collapses it back. So that's just really cool. He'll make it look snazzy. Right? Nice. But yeah, there's so many videos. Just I've got that same song stuck in my head from the first like 23 videos that you did. <laughs> I probably watched those like be so 50 better. times. They're gonna be way better this time. Yeah. Do y'all have um, the vector image? I can send you guys some stickers. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. Sure cool. Yeah. About a hundred bucks, you can get like 300 of them. I'm Aaron, by the way. I'm Brenda. Brenda. Hi. Okay. Awesome. This is so cool. Family business. Do you like it? Or you just put up with it? <laughs> Which day? What is this? Oh, nice. Six sets of brake horse parts. Yeah. It smells really good. Nice. Uh, to make the steering wheel spaced out a little bit more to get clearance between the turn signal, yeah. we got these that go between the wheel and the... Uh, ah, the okay. All right, y'all, that's it. That's a wrap on the visit to DF Kit Car. So awesome to bring this thing over there. And always a good time to hang out with Adam and Lonnie. Got to meet Mrs. Doyle. Got to meet their two welders and stellar people, man. Just stellar people. If you're if you're thinking about buying one and you're just wondering if these people care about quality or care about people, they absolutely do. I can't promote them enough, but absolutely a pleasure coming down here. And I hope to be back soon. But right now, I head to China like tomorrow. And I will be there all of next week just itching to get back home and drive this sucker around the block. I'm ready to start giving rides. Yeah, adios. Oh, one more quick story for you. Uh, as I was about to pull away, Amazon guy pulls up and drops off some deliveries. He's like, man, you mind if I ask you a question? I was like, yeah, go for it. He's like, can I take a photo? I'm like, yeah, man. I mean, let that be your first question. I didn't say that to him, but just say that instead of can I ask you a question? But anyway, just lesson. But anyway, he's like, what is that? I was like, oh man, it's a DF Goblin. And you know where you just dropped off that package? They're making the frames in there. Like this is the place, this is their headquarters. He's like, ah, oh, no way. Uh, yeah, he wants one now, he's sold. Man, it was so awesome being in there, just checking out the number of windshields they're pumping out, the number of frames they're in there working on. I wanna see a Goblin takeover. I'd love to see these things everywhere. They're so much fun, especially for people who uh, are used to like riding motorcycles and stuff. If you want something that's got four wheels with a little bit more protection, you're sitting in a cage, you're strapped in with a harness, if you wanna wear a helmet, whatever, um, these things give you, they give you that feel. I, I mean, I'd say like 99% of the feel, 
because um, you can't you can't lean in them and all that. There's a little bit more protection around you. Oh, it's so much fun. All right, I'll quit yakking at y'all. Have a great weekend. Bye. All right, made it home. Let's get her off the trailer and tour the neighborhood, baby.